Okay, hello again. This is uh, following on from the previous video that we did showing you how to backtest one of our Neptune trading robots, okay? Um, in this video, we've still got it on the chart. We're going to show you how to optimize the parameters for this trading robot for use with Euro dollar. Now, this video and the last video um, is the same for all of our uh, Neptune trading robots, so you can apply the same um, ideas towards all the other currency symbols, okay? Or, or uh, instruments. Okay, so we ran the back test from the last one. We had the results here come and shown you uh, over a period of time the results of this trading robot. So say, for example, you wanted to improve the results or you wanted to back test um, and fit the data like a lot shorter time frame. I'm going to show you how to do that. So what you need to do now is pretty much pretty straightforward. You click on the optimization tab at the top. Okay. Now, it's just a test that I've run earlier. Um, so you can run tests and you can analyze and you can do different values to get the best performance. It is very time consuming. And I think to do a optimization on one of these currency symbols over the full time frame, uh, which is about six years, can take up to two days. One or two days when my PC is not so fast now. So it might take you 24 hours or more. So you'd want to run it on a dedicated PC, really. So if you have a, a VPS or a dedicated uh, server sat somewhere, you want to run the optimization and just leave them running. So if you are purchasing these robots, um, you want to really run optimization every one or two months and keep them running, okay? Um, so what I'm going to show you now is how to do the optimization. So um, I explained in the last videos what the parameters do. Now you can optimize any one of these parameters coming down here. I wouldn't optimize the buy or sell volume. I would just leave those set because they don't affect your actual result. They will affect your results if you change them manually, but you can optimize those values. So don't do buy or sell volume. Do the stop loss and take profits and the 15 optimizer parameters we've got there, okay? So what I'll do, I'll show you the first one. So for the optimization, you want to start with the settings. Now we're going to do it as a 1,000 pound starting capital. And we're going to do 45 uh, per million commission. We're going to leave the data at one minute uh, bars open prices. You can change this to tick data if you want or anything you want, really. We're going to leave the spread at a fixed value of 0.2. As I mentioned in the previous video, it's a Saturday, the markets are closed, that's why the spread is high, okay? Now the next tab you've got on there um, is the parameters you want to optimize. Now when you open it, you'll see that they're all be selected, okay? Unselect the time frame, leave it at one hour. You can change it to one minute, see if you get more trades. Um, now leave the buy and sell volume, okay? Leave them as they are. Now if you know that the trend in the last six months have been more of a buy, add more of a buy volume and just see what the results come back. Because as I mentioned in the last video, you want to really use a higher buy volume or a higher sell volume depending on which way the long-term trend is going or the short-term trend, okay? So leave those two off. Now, leave the rest ticked. Now, the parameters within these ranges, it's gonna run tests and pick the best parameter for a stop loss between 55 and 65. Now, you can change this between 20 and 65 and 20 and 66. You can change the parameters to anything you want and you can do take profits anywhere between 10 and 50. So you can play around with the values as much as you want to get the best values. Now the step, that just means it will do a test and it will, it will run simulated uh, trading many times over that period of time. So if you had it over one year, it will run hundreds and hundreds of um, simulated, uh, this robot running simulated trades over that one year until it finds the perfect parameters for that, for that value. And I know this is fitting the data, but it helps a lot with this type of strategy um, if you keep optimizing it and you get better results. You get better probability of uh, returns on live data. Okay, so do the same thing for all the other values. Now, the optimizer, again, you can start it from any value you want, 30 to 65. Now, once you've got all these values set that you want to test with all the way down, uh, you pretty much just um, go to the next tab. Now, you can, you can um, set my criteria. I want to maximize net profit. I want to minimize my net drawdown and I want to maximize my winning trades because this robot doesn't actually provide many winning trades each month. It's one of the, it's kind of a slow trader. It waits for the most perfect signals. There's a lot of filters on it. So when it feels like it's got a high probability of winning it, it then enters the trade. This is why there's not um, a lot of trades. Don't expect to be sat at the charts all excited about it, opening positions all the time. Now you can have scalping robots that will do that for you. 
Um, but if you look at a lot of people that are successful in trading, they don't do many trades per month, to be honest. OK, OK, so that's that. Now, the next tab here, genetic algorithm, leave it at that. And the next one is how much of your CPU you want to use. OK, we're leaving it at 75 percent. If you still want to use the CP at uh, CP, if you want to use your PC while you're running a back test, reduce it down to 50. So half of the CPU is going to be used for running the back test and the other half will allow you to do your other work on the PC. OK, so if you don't mind how long it will take, just reduce this amount down again to 25. It means it will tick away in the background and use a small amount of your CPU, but it will allow you to continue doing your work and you won't need to get a dedicated server. If this is a dedicated server just for back testing, put it straight up to 100% because you're not going to be using the PC. That means your back test will run a lot faster. Sorry, your back test or your optimization will run a lot faster. So whenever I said back test, I meant optimization. It will mean it will run a lot quicker for you and you'd get the results a lot faster. Uh, the lower the CPU resources, the slower the optimization will take. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at 50%. I'm just going to run this. It will take a long time. But I just want to show you what will happen. So it just kicks off. And what happens is it opens up. Um, it shows you the best pass. I'll quickly say this again. It starts showing you simulated um, trades that have done between uh, certain periods of time. Okay, once they come up, it actually picks the best one as it goes through. And to do that, leave this auto select the best pass ticked. If you ever untick this, it allows you to select the one you want manually. OK, so just leave this selected and it will auto, auto select the best pass because um, this is going to take a long time. I'm not going to run this. I'm going to turn it off and I'm just going to finish this video now just to explain that um, all that I said regarding um, optimization and backtesting in the previous video regarding this uh, currency symbol euro dollar applies to all the robots uh, pretty much with Ctrader in it, to be honest. But the parameters that we're using in here, all the Neptune uh, Ctrader robots, you can do the same with all of them. OK, so it will apply to all of them. All right. That's the end of it. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up at the bottom. Thank you very much.